Hey friends, it's Gun Gaming here, and I want to cover something that No Kill, No Chill Kawa uh, posted on as a comment, uh, asking if he should choose one main and funnel all gear and stuff to that tune from alts. And the clear and precise answer to that is, uh, how much time do you have in a day? Uh, some people enjoy, I mean, like, to, if you really wanted to like perfect this game. You would spend a whole bunch of money, and you would have a, a character that is the best at certain game modes ready for each of those game modes. So let me let me describe what I mean. I, I think this is probably best shown when we come in here to... Whoops. We'll come into Dimensional Duel as one example. We'll go to Weekly Rankings. See, I'm like 403. I'm not great at this. But uh, if we go through and look at who the top characters here are, so Captain Marvel, Spider-Man, Black Widow, I think Tequila is Iron Man. Um, you know, a lot of these are really close, but I think if you were to look and see the most prominent character, although Nufan really has uh, now shifted over to regional gear for Xanderth, which is interesting. Um take what you can get I guess I don't know that spider combat class is necessarily the best a lot of people think Sakaar is but whatever anyway uh whistling death is Captain Marvel uh Ghost X is Black Widow so here you I think you know Mobile Gamer made a video about this but Basically, like, Iron Man, Captain Marvel, Black Widow, or Spider-Man are each the best ones for Dimensional Duel. I think, you know, at the top, if you, for the people who are spending a bunch of money, Captain Marvel is shaking out to be probably the best. If you just look at the number one and then the prevalence of other characters in the top ten. Uh, so, let's just say Captain Marvel is the character that you want to try to build the quote-unquote perfect build for. Um... They're not even using like a full regional set, so uh, you know I think that this actually kind of describes a little bit better how just how good Captain Marvel would be if you got everything you wanted for like the accuracy rate crit rate. Note that the a lot of these top tier characters are having to build massive accuracy rate buffs to their characters just to deal with Spider Man though, so you know that's another thing to think about. So this is a really long way of saying. Uh, you know, if you have unlimited time, you might want to have Captain Marvel or Spider-Man uh, be, like, your dimensional dual character. Now, if I come into Omega War, I'm going to bet that the top-ranked character is probably Iron Man, and I was correct. Uh, half Sen. Although, drop rate sucks as, uh, has been doing well as well as uh, Doctor Strange, but I think that's mostly a factor of money spent. Not so much a factor of uh, that how good he is. Not that like the squad rank is 221, so like Magaluma versus Half Send is probably a better indication of who's great. And I do think Black Widow is probably the best Omega War uh, character, just because you can capture a lot of stuff. You can uh, blink out. You can use uh, iframe abilities to avoid damage. Uh, all else held equal. If you just had unlimited amounts of money, that's probably what I would recommend going to do. Uh, but Godslave coming in hot here as Iron Man in top 10. There are a couple Iron Mans as well. Iron Men, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and Tequila also is Iron Man. So, you know, you could have like a Captain Marvel as your dimensional dual character with super high accuracy and, uh, and attack. And then you would have... Iron Man uh, with uh, super high dodge and massive attack stats uh, for you know, and and like the micro missiles is the one you really have focused on so you could kill a bunch of people all at once or focus on one really big character uh, who's the ranker you know that those that would be the way to like ultimately play this game if you had unlimited amounts of time that's no one okay so just setting aside the fact that that is probably not a likely outcome for you is what is going to drive the rest of this and my you know i i, I work a nine to five day job that it keeps me very busy and often is longer than nine to five uh or has a, you know skewed hours and i can't play a video game all day uh, and I don't even know that I'd want to play Marvel Future Revolution all day. I think the benefit of a, a mobile game is that I can go and play it while I'm watching a show or going to bed or 
like when I wake up in the morning and watch the news, something like that. I can play it while I'm doing something else. It doesn't, you know, detract from uh, being able to accomplish other activities. It doesn't require all of my 100% attention. That's the benefit of a mobile game. So for me, um, I, I have taken to funneling all gear towards this main character. And what that has meant in the past is going to your storage and shuttling all of the materials. So like when you get regional materials, you'll notice a ton for Xanderth and for Hydra Empire here. You go ahead and put those into storage and you can pull them onto your main character. Uru is the one that I usually use because I'm farming for uh, Midgardia set. Uh, and then the other thing that I can do here as well is actually put armor pieces here. So like this one is a good example, Annihilation. Uh, I would retrieve this and then I could use this to crunch up. Uh, this is not a regional piece, so it needs to come out of here actually. Uh, but like Sakar is a regional piece, Xander is regional. So we'll leave the regional pieces, but all the ones that aren't, are not regional pieces, I can go ahead and pull out and you can actually go over to your uh, to your armor enhancer over here and you can use pieces from other characters even though you can't equip them to enhance your costumes uh, we'll go for one so like I'm still you can see here I'm still trying to farm a headpiece that's like three stacks of crit damage and boots that are uh, I'm really trying to go for stamina recovery uh, and ultimate gauge recovery. So I got, you know, two out of the three on these boots. So I don't love them, but like they're pretty good. Uh, these ones are just cooldown decrease. Not an issue that I have with this current build. Uh, stamina is more of my issue, so I need stamina. But I have these two headpieces. I'm trying to go for crit damage, so we'll use that one. And then just to show you, we can see it'll show like the Star Lord icon or whatever other character is if it is if it's not the main. So I'll choose those. I know I want to grind them up, and then you just choose the ones that aren't part of the set. That you're focused on use those and you can level up your armor so that's typically how things had been done previously as previously status effect accuracy is trash for black widow um the shock is really meaningless um and the poison and bleed even more so so that's how people would previously do it now there has been a rework recently and i don't know that i have any on me but when you get a costume drop like a costume box We'll see if we have one on Captain America. But if you get a costume box, uh, you can actually now trade the boxes between characters. And then open them as the new characters. Yeah, I don't have one here. So like, But if I got a costume box that dropped for my Captain America, you get it from doing your most wanteds every day. So if, like you were, if you were leveling an alt and you completed the most wanteds and you chose the four costume box, which by the way is the one you should always choose and you should always do it on your main character. Uh, whoever your main is is going to get the highest reward value. Um, so these are like the most wanteds that pop up for my Captain America, which I think these are obviously much more trash than uh, than my Black Widow is. But anyway, um, you want to do your highest level character so that you get the best rewards. It gives you the most uh, squad rank. Uh, so note that like the mid guardians are 400, the cards are 500, Xander 300, uh, Hydra 200, New Stark City 100. So you want to be having a level 100 character farming. You're hopefully going to get two to three Sakar every day, uh, which is going to give you more squad rank. It's going to also queue you in for the highest reward which is four armor pieces per day and you could do that as an alt if you wanted if you're just leveling an alt or you want to play as a different character it doesn't matter and then you can use those to shuttle over to your main character just by going to the inventory screen um going to squad storage and moving those over to squad storage so you can also do these with uh with uh uh all materials, uh, healing potions, you can do it with these training manuals. All of that stuff is stuff you're gonna wanna shuttle over your main character. You're also gonna get lots of drops of these XP and HP enhancers. Uh, you'll note that I just keep a whole store of them. That way if I have a character that's really struggling or, or uh, to level up, then I can go ahead and pull those off and use those. But the high grade ones I can use in Dark Zone uh, when we're going high PVP in Dark Zone with Black Widow, who is my main. So uh, that that's a very long answer to your very simple question of should you choose one main and funnel all gear and stuff to that tune from alts? 
And the clear and concise answer is yes, absolutely. The other one that I'll just touch on briefly is uh, Omega cards. So I'm building a defense set. Um, the number two is a really good defense perk for Captain America. And so the, the twos I'm sending over to him, but I think the best. So like, it kind of depends who your main is. Each of the mains have a different great card set. Um, let's see here. It's a good example. Like this is defense and HP, which is trash. Attack and defense, that's really good. The The bottom one is the higher one, so you want the four set for Captain America for defense. HP attack is meh. This one is really good for Captain Marvel, who really needs that ultimate skill gauge recovery as quickly as possible. And some of her abilities uh, do require high stamina, so that's really good for Captain Marvel. Uh, Midgardia, this is one of those six ones, and so you get like high the alpha stats and attack, defense, and HP all here. But I don't, you know, I don't love it. I don't think it's all that great. Midgardia is the one that most people are going for. You get the crit damage and the crit rate. You can actually just do the two set is pretty solid for like Black Widow or Iron Man builds. Midgardia, super villain damage, not great. Dodge rate. This is the one that a lot of people are building uh, in a two stack to go alongside of this one, uh, especially on Spider Man or Iron Man, just to give them high dodge. Um, so that's also a good option. Then the Dark Zone ones. This one's just like total damage and attack damage. So that's cool. Um, but then the Dark Zone number four and the Dark Zone number five give you this PvP damage increase and PvP damage decrease. So those are the options. Note that like all of the ones with the golden cards on here, you have to you have to roll into them through the drops. And trying to get two of them is just, like the odds for that are so insane. It's not even worth thinking about in my opinion. Uh, and this is a card number four. It's kind of like the worst of both worlds where you have to get two. And then it just gives you alpha stats. It doesn't give you like these massive PvP increases or decreases that are much more valuable in niche scenarios where where Omega cards really set you apart. So, uh, But Omega cards, once you get to level 4, they have that dedicated stat to certain characters. So just be aware of that. Um, and so you, you do want to try to level up uh, just the cards from 3 to 4 on your main. You'll note that most of mine here... Are Black Widow because I've leveled all of them for Black Widow looking for certain things uh, but this two stars that I am going to level the four on Captain America because I am building him I am having some fun playing as him even though he's one of the worst ranked characters in my character ranking he's still fun to play and that's really what matters in video games isn't it anyway that's a very long roundabout way of saying Funnel all these to your main character, level them all up in your main character, open the boxes on your main character. You can do that a lot much more easily now. Um, I think with them shutting down the refresh on characters where you're able to delete the character and replay it in seven days, this was a nice way for them to kind of bridge that gap to allow free-to-play players uh, access to a lot of these materials that just take so long to gather otherwise. Uh, that is it. For this video, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And until next time, good luck out there. Have some fun. Keep on gaming. Bye for now.